show, the show you leave your comments below, and some of them are, mm. some of them are, mm. and it's an epic moment in this show that only goes. Comment of the week. Apology in advance for the sound outside. Yes, the wonderful drilling has come back and returned. So today we speak about World Cup games. Uh, we also have a giveaway. We give away a nice little Brazil top bit of a signature on it, and. The hashtag watching from. Where are you lot watching from? All right, kick it off. The first game we're going to be speaking about today is uh, Matthew Kane. said Costa Rica won, Italy nil. Thoughts? Absolutely David. amazing, dude. It just made me happy, man. Like this Costa Rica team, like a country the size of Northwest London, population <laughs> 52, and you got Italy. Andrea Pirlo, masterclass, you know, the man who drinks wine, who knows everything, who can realign the planets. You know, you've got <laughs> this man in midfield, Balotelli, Mr. Telly, nowhere to be seen. De Rossi, don't know where he was. Costa Rica, goal line technology used. It was fantastic. Before that, I had a penalty robbed. Someone like Costa Rica, pressing them high. It makes you wonder, what did England do wrong? It makes me think to myself, Roy is definitely the problem. Because that Costa Rican side is nowhere near as good as the side no. of England. I've got nowhere near it. No. For some strange reason, they've managed to beat Uruguay 3-1 and then Italy 1-0. Ramin R. I said Argentina won, Iran nil. Iran should have won. Thoughts. So tight. Messi. 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 Iran should have won. They yeah. should have definitely had a result. Great stellar defensive performance. Should have had a penalty. This is really, really getting to me. What is it with refs and not blowing 100% stonewall penalties? It, it happened to Russia against Belgium. It happened to South Korea against Algeria. It's happened again. You know, the only penalty that's really been given is that Brazil one, which wasn't even a penalty. Referees are genuinely scared to blow the whistle in the box. It's Argentina versus Iran. I mean, he's probably thinking, mate, if I blow this whistle, there's like, you saw the Argentinians. There's a lot of them. Another comment from Stupendous Stew. Uh, Messi's 91st minute goal and how Argentina are playing. Thoughts? Out of nowhere, takes on a couple defenders, curls it in, top corner. We're getting bored of the same story. It just shows you the class of the man though, because yeah, it's amazing. that game was dead, awful, but yet he can still produce a moment of magic, even when he's playing poorly, nothing's really happening. All of a sudden, like David said, gets it on his left foot. Okay, they gave him a couple of yards, but it was like the 93rd minute. Next year, you know, his top bins, everyone's screaming Messi, he's running away, second goal in the World Cup. And all this talk about Messi not producing on the international stage, you've got to sort of hold that talk because Two moments of magic within this World Cup have basically won Argentina two games. Well, leave your comments. Let us know what you think. Can Argentina win the World Cup? Will Messi be top goal scorer? All right, one team that's surprising everyone. We had the France v Switzerland game, and Mr. Corporation has said, France 5, Swiss 2. Did you think the stoppage time goal scored by Benzema should count after all when a team is attacking, the ref should play on, the other team did Thoughts. So you, you as a referee, you've noticed since the last minute, last few seconds, mm -hmm. you're seeing a team going forward, so you're allowing them to go forward, but then you stop playing when a cross comes in. It, the, just the logic doesn't, it, it escapes my pattern of thought. But, and then the cameraman as well, awful cameraman work, he's cut to the manager shaking hands, <laughs> you, know, you, don't know, you don't know what's happened, you're hearing his big celebration, you hear Benzema is celebrating, it's awful. Still? Three goals in the tournament, Benzema answering a lot of crickets. What, what did you think about the game anyway? Like, what did you think about France's performance? France going forward, very dangerous. But once again, I would like to see them test their strengths against a better side. Because I think France's group, as well as, as, well as Argentina's, are one of the easiest groups. All right, uh, let's move on to another game. Uh, Ghana versus Germany, the team I told you lot all to watch out for. Meg Griffin has actually left thoughts in her bikini. She said, thoughts on Ghana's fantastic display against Germany. Uh, open brackets, which they should have won. Close brackets. Do you think they can beat Portugal and qualify? Yes, I do. It's going to be... 100%. It's going to be a uh, tough call. But I would love it. If Ghana do it, I'm getting myself a Ghana top baby jet on the back. Number nine. <laughs> well, I think Ghana played extremely well. Um, a little bit upset that they, they, gave, they gave the game away, but I'm so happy the individual that scored. Closer, congratulations, mate. 15 goals in the World Cup, equal to uh, Ronaldo, the god himself. Her next comment is USA versus Portugal, and it's San de Glaia. USA finally decided to play football. Klinsman effect are just lackluster opposition. Just give a bit of, I don't know, praise to the USA because they've lasted a lot longer in the competition in England. Yeah. Um, they've shown a lot of heart, a they lot have. of fight, and they've got Rihanna tweeting for them. Now, there's so many reasons why you should congratulate them. I mean, they play Portugal, decent side. 
Um, they won their first game against Ghana. Again, another decent side. If anything, I can say their chances were probably similar to England. And barring that one cross and the goal in the last minute, they would have been through right now to the next knockout stages of the World Cup. What a goal, though. Oh, what an amazing goal, bro. The finish was absolutely amazing. It was exactly like Going me. outside the post, curls in, keeper rooted to the spot, couldn't see the ball. Brilliant. Finish. And Clint it was a Dempsey, rocket. It was a two rocket. in two as well. There's a big argument that's been going on for years now about Messi versus Ronaldo. And it existed on Twitter two nights ago when this game was happening. Now, I kept saying Messi, obviously. Ronaldo put in a cross and everyone went ballistic. Yeah. If that's his contribution over 180 minutes of football, how can we be having a dispute about who's better between him and Messi? Copa fam, you decide. Who would you rather have running down on goal, 89th minute, Ronaldo or Messi? Hashtag that stuff. Poet. Well, let us know what you think. Keep commenting because guess what? England have got a good friendly game right now against Costa Rica. Um, <laughs> Let us know what you think about our performance, probably Lambert up front. And Mate, that. now there's going to be four, four games a day. Tell us who's going to go through, man. Tell us, you know, while they're watching the game, leave your comments. We didn't even have a comment for South Korea, Algeria. We who's need more comments about every game. Leave a, After the game, during the game, leave a comment after the game. You're telling me you're watching all the games? Then leave the comments. So, last week, we spoke about our Copper 90 kit, which is exclusively made by Campo Retro. So, if you do want to get one of the Copper 90 kits, please click the link below and then uh, you potentially could purchase one. Uh, also, if you did get one last week, please send in the picture to us at Copper90 and the hashtag is... Copper90KitUp. And then we can see what kit you're wearing. Oh, England, all Costa... Well, maybe not Costa Rica. Oh, Germany. What's this? I'm wearing the one from Belgium. Very exclusive. They're exclusive. No one has these holes inside them for the aerodynamics. And 2 Very name comfortable. 2-2 two, two two name. name on the back. 2-2 two, two name on the back. Poet. Don't know. Got a hooge on the back here. Obviously. Check it out. Link below. Move on with the show. It's a brand new section. It's called Watching From. Watching From. Uh, you know, we have a lot of people a showing us where you're watching a World Cup from. Some great, great places. Ollie Horton, watching a World Cup from my school prom. He's got it streaming on his phone. He's finished his plate of food. Everyone else is like, they just seem, seem to be jealous of him getting in on the action. Eamon Bananas, you have gone absolutely bananas. It is at your brother's school graduation, Japan versus Greece. Not the greatest game. It must have been as boring as the graduation itself. <laughs> and a real AZ from America. He's watching in Grand Park in Chicago with thousands of more yanks. I don't know what accent that was, but you guys seem to be very happy. I'm not sure about the guy in the blue shirt. He seems to be less happy. Oh my God. Jack Liddell is showing us Astro Alex, who's watching from space. That is a mad thing. He is in a spaceship floating, watching the football. I don't think there's anything more beautiful than that. You see this photo? Out of this world. So please keep letting us know where you are hashtag watching from anywhere. You know, I might do one. I might do one watching it on the toilet. All right, we took a week off, but we are back. Hashtag any holes a goal. Uh, been some impressive ones. There's one here of uh, D and David Clark 35 in the garage. David, talk to us about In this. the garage, into the bin, bing, bang, bosh. Nice and easy. Well done, Dean. Then we have Oli Deuce official 11 into the washing machine. Your mother must be proud of you, man. Loved it, mate. Now, this one, yeah, this one's um, interesting. It's kind of controversial. Rush Soccer 1028. You flicked it. You've spun outside foot into the bin, but it's gone out. We need to get a decision from Hawkeye. Poet, let's look at the slow-mo. All right, he's kicked it. Is it whole ball over the lid? It is. The whole ball has crossed the lid. You are still in. You win this week's Any Holes A Goal. Well, just keep hashtagging Any Holes A Goal. Make sure you're sending them in on the Instagram. Make sure you follow the Copper 90 on the Instagram. You are at Copper 90 and hashtag Any Holds A Goal with very unique approaches to knocking a ball through a goal. And speaking of skills, in Brazil, we have Daniel Cutting, we have STR, and we have Tom Deacon. They have made a video. Uh, it's a video of the crossbar challenge. But also, don't forget, Dude Perfect was in there as well. It was a USA against England challenge. Representing the US of A. I believe that we will win. We're representing England. That's what we do. Don't it. Oh my <laughs> gosh. Have you I ever kicked the ball before? Teaching right now, Cody. Put it, it now. Good. Oh, wow. Oh, 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 I will say your kicks do remind oh. me of your English national team. <laughs> There's something wrong with my Kindle. 
I think I know what's happened. Basically, it's big news here. Copper 90 is now on the Xbox. All you have to do, according to my Kindle, is go to Destination Brazil tab on the Xbox homepage and you can watch Copper 90 series in between games of FIFA. We're on Xbox. Yeah. Copper 90. Is on Xbox. On Xbox. Yeah, so if you go on your Xbox you've got a home or this one here, you would see my face, your face, or probably Maya's because she's a little bit more attractive. Yeah, Maya, that makes sense. Yeah. Pretty. pretty. Yeah, I hope sure. one day they'll think we're pretty. Before we get onto our giveaway, we're just going to say who won the Argentina Messi shirt. We asked a couple of weeks back for you to basically vote in for which YouTuber should win the Messi Arizona. shirt. And 70% of the votes, wow, have said Joel Weller deserves the Messi shirt himself. Signed by the guy himself, as you can see, look, official number 10 Messi shirt. Now, a lot of people complained and said, oh God, how come you giving it to a YouTuber? What about the Copper fam? We thought to ourselves, what about the Copper fam? Now, myself and David were recently in Brazil. Yes, a shorter time period than the England football team. And uh, we thought, I wonder what we can get here to give away, courtesy of Budweiser FC. We have got a signed Brazil Dunga shirt. Can please be thrown in by Maradona. It's really Bloody aggressive hell, today, mate. like you're really aggressive. All right, so it's a signed shirt by Dunga. If you don't know who Dunga is, in the 1994 World Cup in the USA, he was the captain that lifted the World Cup for that Brazilian team. He went on to be the manager. He actually started off the 94 tournament as just the vice captain, moved on to top captain purely because of his performances. He was a defensive midfielder and an absolute Brazilian legend. Now, if you want to win this top, this is what you have to do. Like the video share it on Twitter and hashtag shirt for me. And don't forget to at Copper90 because it makes it a bit easier to find your entry and you have a bigger chance of winning this beautiful shirt. Big game tomorrow. It is France against Ecuador and mm -hmm. our friends at FoodTube have been cooking up some fancy French food. Take a look. Hey Copa19, check out the latest episode of Matchday Munchies where I'll be teaching you how to make delicious French cooking ahead of France versus Ecuador. Check it out and subscribe to Food2. Did they call us Copa19? Copa19? We're Copa90. So, poet. What's going on, bruv? Quick fire round! Where are you pulling your phone from? Where are you pulling your phone from? Three! Two, one! I'm very opinionated person because somebody tell me how to put comments I have so much to say, you put a comment. Anyone know Big, Big Billy's chip shop phone number? I no. don't know. Pit of doom, I don't know. It's the fact that these players need to be motivated, they're playing for their country, and I know which people can give anything for. I agree. Yeah. Where are chilies called chilies if they're hot? They are hot. I beg you, I beg you, shot at a gap in the middle of the wall of fame. I tried to train mine, cannot handle it. All right, we'll sort it out. I literally didn't screw England, England screwed England. Ooh. Are, you England, are you going back to Brazil? Yes, we are. Do you think Germany should retire from football after the World Cup is over? Gerard, no. no. Roy's staying for the Euros, Sports, idiot. No way. Joey Butler's Euros, Sports, World Cup expert, 40 years and it's yes. amazing. Copernati, do you have a Tinder? Wow. <laughs> What's the difference between the T-Bag and England? The T-Bag stays longer in a cup. Ah. Wow. USA beat England. Agree or disagree? Agree. I couldn't just run into the pitch at Villa Park. It was a takeover bid. Oh, <laughs> Real Madrid's haircut. It's Portugal's second best player. No, he's from Shoreditch. When I skill up Shkai, it's not a true. How nice is Brazil? It's amazing. <laughs> I think all my passwords are incorrect, so my computer tells me when I forget. The rain in Spain means, falls mainly on a plane. Home. What? Oh, what have we got? I'll be Tuesday then a birthday party. I don't know. Yeah. We want to see Maradona. Show us Maradona. We'll go later on. Can you know just sorry, we're not a haircut. I'll use Dingle's voice. I always feel like instead of studying for my paper today, I feel only you guys. Too much time for the demo. Cup, so much time, but welcome. How are you going to be a person? I don't know if any of that was audible, guys, which I'm going to have to apologize for. Hey, David. Yeah? It's time to get onto the part of the show for the millions. Hand millions of Copper 90 fans all across the world from Xbox, Copper90.com. There is no Tumblr, but there is a Facebook. It's that epic moment in that show that can only be described as in Swedish, Kommentaren av the King. And are we? He drove his expensive car into a tree and found out how the Mercedes Benz. Oh, the Mercedes Benz in a car. All right, Padaman 92. I just finished my World Cup sticker album, Panny and Ewoy. Max Springer, a book just fell on my head. I've only got my shelf to blame. <laughs> <laughs> you sound like a Dutchman. Oh. No, you sound like Sean Connery. Sean Connery from James Bond. David, who's the winner? <laughs> Max Springer, well done. You've only got your shelf to blame for winning this. So make sure you're leaving comments Sorry, about... Sorry, I just don't kissed worry. him. That was all wrong, man. Make sure you're leaving comments about the England game next. They've got a fantastic friendly against Costa Rica. <laughs> Why did I kiss him, Who man? Who goes through? <laughs> Is it going to be Italy? Is it going to be Uruguay? Make sure you're leaving comments about that. Just all the games, man. It's like Ghana, will Germany and USA set everything up? It, well, who's Belgium, Russia, Algeria? Make Who's sure Argentina, the Dunga t-shirt, they would win the Dunga t-shirt. Win the Dunga t-shirt, Campo Retro, 
check those out, the official Copa 90 World Cup kit. Hashtag Ronaldo, hashtag Messi, let's settle the debate once and for all. Hey, knife minute, who would you want to be on the board? Where are you watching from? Hashtag watching from. We love you. We're back in Brazil very, very soon. Stop asking us why we've been back so quickly. We're going to be back there. It's Copa 90. We love you more than our families themselves. Goodbye.